Hey, Trey, Sean, congratulations. Um, I know you got back in the, the swing of it last week, but what was it like to get back in the end zone and start breaking off some big runs again? Um, it was definitely a good feeling, you know, these past, you know, four weeks or whatever it's been, you know, it's been hard, you know, mentally and like, you know, just want to be out there and see my teammates doing good. But it was definitely a, a good feeling getting back to the end zone, uh, teammates celebrating with me and my teammates, you know, coaches and whatnot. So uh, it was definitely a great feeling getting back in the end zone. As a ball carrier, what's the difference to you whether you're taking the handoff or it's a direct snap out of the Wildcat and how you go about the play? Um, so as far as that, like, you know, uh, I actually feel like a quarterback when I, um, you know, get a direct snap in a way, even though, you know, I'm still running the ball or whatnot. But uh, it's definitely a different feeling getting a handoff and then, you know, getting a direct snap. Is the uh, so Wildcat, is that Wild Ward? What's the, the name for that when you're in there? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a personnel. They didn't give, like, you know, a nickname for the personnel or whatnot as far as, like, you know, Wild Ward or whatnot. But, uh, you know, it's kind of my thing, you know, since last year, Notre Dame game, you know, did the same thing as what. So, you know, kind of comfortable with it. I think you had two rushing touchdowns and Jordan had two today. I think now y'all have four guys who have five rushing touchdowns this mm -hmm. season. I guess y'all knew how dangerous the group could be coming into the season. What's it like to see that in action? There's so many guys who are capable of doing that. Uh, you know, we've been seeing this all spring, you know, whatnot, and uh, just pushing each other to be the best. You know, O-line did a great job finding holes for us to run behind, you know, and uh, game planning this week was really good as far as the scheming. So, like, you know, we just executed and got the success. Trey Sean, you've seen a lot here. Um, the way you guys are performing right now in all facets of this, whether it's the offense, defense, special teams, I don't want to use the word surprise, but just can you can you just describe and process the success you guys are having, what it's coming from, and just how excited you guys are to continue to build on it week in and week out? Um, we can really go back to what Bobby Bowden said, you know, winning, win big, win losing, you know. Uh, you can take that for example. And like throughout the years with Coach Norvell, you know, we've been just keep building up the chips to this year and as far as the spring goes you know i knew we was going to be good as far as like special teams defense and offense you know it was really competitive practices and we was going back and forth and like you know the chemistry with this team gotten so much better so i it wouldn't have been a surprise of stuff like this year that's been happening i all i knew it i knew it was going to be a good team yeah i know it's been um one game at a time for you guys and you know but now that one game is florida how big would that be to you know, win that game and tend to win you know, the state, good 2-0 against Miami and Florida? It would definitely, uh, definitely be a statement. You know, we haven't did that in a little – well, we haven't did that since I've been here. You know, it would have been a good, uh, good thing to do. Uh, as far as Florida, you know, that's a big rivalry for us. And, you know, we're going to take it like just another game and, you know, go through the game plan and whatnot. But, you know, we've got to prepare like there's any other game. Dylan Gibbons was – uh, able to break the rock on behalf, of, behalf excuse me, behalf of the offensive line. Uh, what has he done for the culture of this program, and, and maybe more specifically the offensive line that, that opens up room for you guys? I could definitely. Uh, when he definitely came in for the first time, you know, he uh, introduced some new things um, for the O line. As far as like, you know, when they get up to the line, they fist bump. They never did that, and it shows like, you know, another chemistry. And with his knowledge, you know, he spread it out with the uh, offensive line. So with him being there, you know. Uh, uh, OG, basically, he uh, gave the boys a, a, a path to look after. Trey, Sean, uh, what do you remember about the Florida game last year, and, and how much has that kind of fueled you guys since the off season thinking about this game? Um, I can remember the the last play, well, the last kickoff, you know, when he whipped it, and you know, I was right there because you know it was being kicked over my side, and if we would have got it off, it would have been a, you know, different ball game. But um, we definitely come in uh, with a different type of uh, mentality. You know, this year we've been, been stressing, like, the Florida battle as far as, like, Miami and Florida throughout the fall camp. Those are must-win games or whatnot. So we just got to come out with a mentality to play. In, in a lot of these games, Jordan hasn't kept the ball much, and he's let you guys do all the running. What does it do for you guys when he, when he breaks off a few like he did today? I mean, we see it all spring. We see it all game. And like, you know, when he does it, when he does his stuff, as far as like running on the, which is Tommy Jerry's, it's just, it just is effective for us. Like it builds our character as far as like, you know, makes us want to do better and whatnot. It's like fuels us, fuels the offense, fuels everybody. So it just add more fuel to the fire. 
Yeah, in week zero, um, you know, um, when Trey Benson was up there, he talked about the anxiety that he had, you know, in that first game before the game. What growth have you seen him, especially you know, when you were out, he carried the load a lot. What kind of growth have you seen him from this year? Um, I see him trusting his ability. You know, the first few games, you know, he was a little shaken up in anxiety because, you know, he wasn't trusting himself. And then throughout this, you know, the time that I've been out and you've taken the load, it, get, it gave him like a little sense of like who he is and whatnot. So doing this, it allowed him to get his comf confidence up and, you know, breaking, breaking records and whatnot and rushing for 100 plus yards, you know, within like five games or whatnot. So, you know, got his confidence back for sure. Good. Thank you all.